kids, Dr. Brooks here. We're going to have a little lesson on the Fibonacci sequence today. Um, just going to deviate from the regular curriculum and give you a little side lesson on what the Fibonacci sequence is. So the Fibonacci sequence, it was brought to us by an Italian mathematician whose name is Leonardo di Pisa Fibonacci. And he, this sequence was discovered in nature. It was discovered through the reproduction of rabbits. It, um, you can refer to the golden ratio. I want to cite my source that I used for this, and that is my secondary mathematics instruction um, by Farrell and Farmer. So there's a little bit about the Fibonacci sequence in here, and I've always enjoyed studying this. So what is the Fibonacci sequence? Let's just get right to it. So, the Fibonacci sequence starts with the number one, and then what you do is you're going to, the next number is one, you add those two numbers together to get the next number in the sequence. So, here's what's going on. One plus one is two. One plus two is three. So, you can think the next number, what would it be? Well, we're going to add the next, the two preceding numbers. So, two plus three is five. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 5 is 13. 13 plus 8 is 21. 21 plus 13 is 34. 34 plus 21 is 55. 55 plus 34 is 89. I'll put a few more numbers up here for you. So 89 plus 55 is 144. And then the 89 plus the 144 is 233. And then the 233 plus the 144 is 377. And this can go on to infinity. So the cool thing about the Fibonacci sequence is that I found this later um, because I am into running and sometimes you run in miles and sometimes you run in kilometers. So um, what do runners do when they take a rest day from running? Well, we get on some other machine like the elliptical machine and we read about running. And I did that a uh, year or two ago. I was on the elliptical and I had a magazine, a running magazine out, and I was reading about running and I saw an article about the Fibonacci sequence and how you can easily convert from kilometers, we've all heard of a 5K, to miles through use of the Fibonacci sequence. And I was fascinated to see if this was true. And so, what you do is you look at any number. So let's just pick the 5K since I wrote that there. Well, if you've run a 5K before, you know a 5K is 3.1 miles. So the number before it is approximately however many miles that is. So it's not exact, but it's close and it holds true every single time. So a 5K is about three miles, it's 3.1 miles. An 8K is 4.9 something. So an 8K is almost five miles. A 13K is about eight miles. A 21K, close to a half marathon, is about 13 miles. A 34K is about 21 miles. A 55K is about 34 miles. And I kept checking to make sure this was true. And again, I was fascinated that um, 377k is close to 233 miles, so it holds true. So there's your little fun lesson um, about the Fibonacci sequence. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.